what I have to do when it's hot. Hey, what up? I am back for another video and this video is really just going to be like a quick random one because um, a couple days ago was a um, couple days ago always stuttering well, anyways a couple days ago was May the 4th May the 4th be with you Star Wars Day and it was also free comic book day at a comic book store slash bookstore in my hometown area and I just wanted to show you some of the comic books I got I only got one free because it was my first time being in the store because they just made it like half book half comic book store half bookstore a couple days before and the last time I was in there it was a full bookstore not split and I didn't know where exactly the free comic book books was I thought you picked one out of the dollar ones and that's what you got free so it was my first time I, I was very confused and also a voice actor um tom kane was gonna be there and i was thinking i was gonna meet him but you had to pay 40 dollars for an autograph and a picture and all that like he's not that famous so he's not worth it i if i had money if i got paid that week back in 2017 when I got to see Matt Hardy and Jeff Hardy before they came back to WWE I'd rather have done that for sure for sure but he does make the voice for Professor Utonium for the Powerpuff Girls um, the newer ones in the in the movie and he makes the voice for Yoda in the Clone Wars cartoon which is actually coming back but um yeah um, was not going to pay $40 for that. No, 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 no. But I just want to show you a little footage that I got. It's not much. Um, it's basically just me showing the back of his head and like me walking with my Star Wars shoes on and showing you the sign. So here's that footage. my dream to have every game Scooby-Doo because that was my first board game and it's right next to Jumanji how much is Jumanji is it's cheaper it's $20 oh that's cool Here's my Millennium Falcon shirt. And there's my shoes. And I'm also wearing Darth Vader socks. Yeah. Eventful. Okay, so I'm going to show you all the comic books I got. And I only got one official one free, but since it was like my first time in there, I basically bought really nice ones. So they might not be really nice to you, but they're really nice to me. Okay, so basically, we went to the one in my hometown, and I found a couple of comic books that I wanted. But we ended up going to the one in Kentucky, and I found one that fits perfectly with what I was wanting, and one that was actually at the one in my hometown. But I'm going to show you my free one. So basically, this was my free one. Um, it's DC. It's called Under the Moon. And it's a Catwoman tale. And I haven't 
exactly got the look at the shit but there was a whole bunch of other ones and I should have got them because you could get each one for free so um I don't know it, it didn't they didn't like draw my attention I don't know I should have got them I think I was just too excited to get like the other ones that I got but basically it's like showing like I guess is it the actual character Catwoman or just like a version of Catwoman I'm trying to see if I see a name Selene. Selena. 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 Okay. Okay, so the next ones are all Star Wars themed. Basically, all I got was Star Wars themed ones because it was May the 4th and I really wanted them. So, the first one I'm going to show you. Um, is this one. This one is Star Wars C-3PO. Um, basically, if you know me, I love the Star Wars droids. I'm obsessed with them. I love BB-8, love R2-D2, R2-T... I love R2-D2 so much, and I love C-3PO, and... I don't know. I have a um, towel with them. I have a lot of BB-8 stuff. I have um, some R2-D2 things. It's kind of hard to find more R2-D2 things um, because BB-8's more popular now because of the newer ones. But yeah, I'm not really going to open it, but I do want to show you this. I'm going to show you the covers and it's the first edition. And I don't know, I just like, it drew out to me. And it's like just all about him. The next one is super, super cute. I loved it because of the cover. It's called Star Wars Droids Unplugged. And it has R2-D2 and BB-8 on it and I love it. This um, was at the one in my town. But I found it at the other one in Ashland so I was really excited to get this okay so the ones that I got at my hometown one um, are the ones I'm gonna show you next and some of them came out of the dollar bin and some of them came out of the like the nicer ones that are like five dollars six dollars nine dollars all that but I'm gonna show you the dollar ones first basically all these dollar ones um, my man got me um, I love you. Thank you. Um, I wanted to get all of these so bad, but, um, the cover of it spoke to me, but it's Scooby-Doo! <laughs> I love me some Scooby-Doo. Um, if you also know me, um, I'm obsessed with Scooby-Doo. I've been obsessed with Scooby-Doo since I was little. I had so many, um... Scooby-Doo things. I have stuffed animals. I had um, the pillow and blanket comforter set. I have a poster. I need to go retrieve it. I can't talk. I have to go retrieve it. Um, it's a really nice poster. It's actually the poster that is in um, Stephen King's Dreamcatcher in Duddis' room. That one um, was Scooby-Doo on the skateboard in like a tie-dye tunnel. That's the one I got. But this one spoke to me because of the collars. There was another one I wanted that had like black cats on it and stuff. But I don't know. This one drew out to me a lot. It spoke to me. Drew out to me. Oh my god. It's 1 o'clock in the morning, guys. This one had X-Men sketchbook on it. And it, I saw free. I was like, hey, this should be free. But basically, it's not a comic book. It's basically like an artist talking about his artwork and it's very interesting and you flip it over and there's a Spider-Man one and what drew me to this 
was these two pictures because I do want to get back into drawing and these type of pictures yeah they're kind of raunchy let's not look at um that one let's look at this one um like the graphics and the artwork on this is stuff I used to draw when I was younger now this one I went crazy over um I've been an X-Men fan forever. The X-Men movies were like the first Marvel movies that I ever got into when I was little. And X-Men 2, X2, was my favorite and still is. I'm very dedicated to that movie. I had a magazine that had um, Hugh Jackman on it from that movie. And it was like a whole magazine dedicated to that movie. Whole thing. And... I wore it out so much the cover came off but I kept the rest of it I have a hair on I kept the rest of it and I saw this and it made me think of the magazine but look at this X-Men 2 Nightcrawler and it says it's an official movie comic book prequel and it's it's awesome like I love this so much it just like hold on like with him and Stryker like oh my god like when he captures him in the movie um for him to like put that stuff on his neck and tell him to attack the president like this is gold right here okay last but not least um is the first one that um I was shown and went specifically <laughs> went back specifically for this one it is Star Wars droids the first edition of the mini series and again this is like OBG classic and I love it love it love it love it so that is all my comic books I'm sorry I stuttered sorry I kept saying drawn out and spoke to me multiple times but I would have had more I should have grabbed all the other free ones, but I really wanted to show you guys the comic books I got on May the 4th, and I wasn't going to make a whole video out of that day, but Chan's, Chan, Chan, plans changed, and it rained, and I just wasn't in the mood to really record, so, yeah, but, um, Sorry, this is probably such a crappy video, but I just wanted to show you guys my Star Wars comic books that I got and some other ones, and please subscribe, hit that like button. Sorry that this was short, long, whatever. I talk too much, I stutter, I say words that don't make sense, but that's just me, and that's one interesting thing about me <laughs> that you could see on this channel. But... I'm spitting. It's what we do. When it's hot. Oh. Don't want to mess up my background. Okay. Thank you for watching me show you my comic books I got on May the 4th. I love you. 